man who had a vision to recreate an 1880s western town in the desert north of Scottsdale where the city folk could find the flavor of the Old West amidst Conestoga wagons, wooden sidewalks, western facades, and rootin' tootin' gun totin' cowboys is being honored tonight. 27 years ago, Mr. James P. Paul, who has been called the Millionaire Cowboy, and in 1961 was recognized by the Saturday Evening Post as one of the new millionaires of Phoenix, initiated the development of Rawhide Western Theme Park, dedicating it to Arizona's future. I wanted to save a little bit of Americana so that the people who live long after I've gone will be able to appreciate this part of the West, which is so important to our country's history. It's my small contribution to mankind, he said at the time. In 1979, he sold his dream town to the Hearst Corporation. Jim, as he is known by friends, has been in the contracting, construction, and land acquisition business since 1946, more than a half a century. He is credited with building the first residential subdivision in the town of Scottsdale at Scottsdale and Chaparral Roads in 1949, even before incorporation. As an independent contractor, he built more than 80 Scottsdale homes between 1949 and 1950. For a short time, he joined the Dell Webb Construction Company and headed up the residential and commercial department as development manager of construction in nine different Arizona cities. In 1955, he planned, developed, and constructed the Mountain Shadows Resort Hotel, which opened in January of 1958. The following year, Jim developed Mountain Shadows West, which included an 18-hole golf course and 59 estates. He later sold a half interest in the prestigious resort to the Dell Webb Company and continued to operate the hotel for the partnership. While still operating Rawhide, the honoree formed a limited partnership for real estate development and, serving as general partner, negotiated with the United States Forest Service for 10,000 acres at Carefree. The partnership also purchased the Carefree Inn and the Boulders Country Club, which they operated through the 1970s. Sensitive to the desert and its environment, Mr. Paul and his partners promised as little intrusion as possible of the desert where development was planned. Tonight's honoree not only helped develop residential homes in a dozen cities throughout Arizona, but he also helped to organize the Scottsdale Boys Club, now known as the Scottsdale Boys and Girls Club, and for two years served as its first president while helping to organize and serve as the president for the Verde Vaqueros, the fundraising arm of the Boys and Girls Clubs. Jim's family, originally from Leesburg, Georgia and Port St. Joe, Florida, moved to the valley in 1928. He attended Phoenix Union High School, then Florida Military Institute, and Middle Georgia College at Cochrane, Georgia. For many years, this active octogenarian has enjoyed cruising aboard his yacht, First Kiss. Please join family and friends in welcoming this prominent visionary, developer, and promoter of Scottsdale into the 1997 Scottsdale History Hall of Fame, Mr. Jim Paul.